Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing the HSC 3 and paper of 2005. And in this particular video, it'll just be question one. Okay, let's get started. All right, with question one, it's asking you to do the integral of, it's asking you to do the integral of one on x squared plus 49. Now, if you look at this question, it's 1 on x squared plus a squared, right, where a is 7. So this is straight out of the uh, standard integral table, and you will get 1 on 7, tan inverse of x on 7 plus c. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Question 2. Now, question 2 is asking you to draw an inequality out. So y is less than or equal to absolute value of 2x plus 3. Okay, now let me get some room to draw the axes. Okay, drawing the axes, I will get this. Alright, so whenever you're drawing absolute value of 2x plus, 2x plus 3, well, absolute value of anything, right? Just ignore the absolute value sign and just draw it initially, all right? So 2x plus 3. And I'm ignoring the fact that it's inequality as well, all right? So the intercept is going to be 3, and the gradient is, uh, is 2. So my x-intercept is going to be minus 1.5. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line through there. Now, if this had, if it was just y equals 2x plus 3, it would have continued along like that. But that's not going to happen. It's the absolute value, right? So instead of this, what's going to happen is that this can reflect up. So all those negative values are going to, are going to be positive values. That's all that an absolute value does, right? Okay. And as for the inequality, so I'm, I'm going to change this uh, equal to a less than or equal to sign. Okay. So think of it this way. This is your y equals, this is your y equals 2x plus 3 line, right? To get, for, for any, anything that's less than, that means it has to be down this way, right? All of it, any value that's less than 2x plus 3 has to be below this. So it'll be, so the part that I'm going to color in will look like this. Okay, I just remember to label these properly, so that's minus 1.5 and that's 3. Okay, next question. It's asking for the, the range and domain of y equals cos inverse of x on 4. Now remember, with sine inverse or cos inverse, the, uh, this, the thing inside the brackets the thing inside these brackets had to be less than or equal to, uh, sorry, let me say that again. It's, it's going to be between minus one and one. Okay, so minus one. So that's what we're going to have. Okay, any any instance, right? So what as soon as you see a cos inverse, sine inverse, whatever's inside over here has to be between minus one and one. Okay, so write this out straight away. And therefore, looking at, in this case, our x is going to be between minus 4 and 4. Okay, now the range. The cos inverse, uh, the cos inverse function, the graph looks like this. And if you remember your values, it's going to be between 0 and pi that says so between zero and pi so this this point over there is pi okay so so this is my domain the thing is the range hasn't changed at all right the, the only thing that's happened is that something's happened to the x values but nothing's really happened to my y range so my y values are simply going to be between uh, 0 and pi so that this is my range okay too easy all right 
part part day. So it's saying using the substitution u is equal to 2x squared plus 1 or otherwise do the do the integral of x on 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 5 on 4 dx okay now it'll be great it'll be really good if you can see, do this without um, without doing the substitution especially especially considering that when you differentiate u with respect to when you differentiate what's sorry let me start again when you differentiate what's inside here with respect to x you get 4x right and this is this thing over here what you can do is introduce a 4 and because i introduced a 4 i need to get rid of it so it become 1 on 4 okay so if you can see it, this method by all means go ahead but i'm going to right now i'm just going to do the substitution method all right okay so so i have u is equal to x squared plus 1 so du is equal to 4x dx Okay, so I will be using this, right? But if you can do this without using u, go for it. All right. So du is 4x dx. So therefore, this integral over here is going to be 1 on 4. The 4x dx is going to become my du. And this is going to be u to the power of 5 on 4 du. Okay. Now, this is simple... Um, everyday integration that you do so it's going to become u to the 9 on 4 okay flip this around so it'll become 4 on 9 over here make sure you cancel out these two things and I will end up with uh, 1 on 9 u to the 9 on 4 no don't uh, the biggest mistake that most people do is to stop there but remember you need this in terms of x Right, so substitute it back in. So this is equal to 1 on 9, uh, 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 9 on 4. Oh, and of course, don't forget the plus c. Uh, a lot of people lose half a mark for not doing the plus c. Okay. Okay, now I need to divide. Okay, part E is asking you to divide... Um, the point A, which is minus 1, 8, and po the point B, which is an arbitrary point called x, y, I need to divide that in the, internally in the ratio 2 to 3, such that I get P, which is 1, 4. Okay, I'll write up the, the formulas if you, if you don't remember it. So the, uh, when, I, when, I, when I do two arbitrary points, A and B, in, a, in some sort of ratio, what I end up getting is uh, nx1 plus mx2 or on n plus n. So the key thing is that the n and the m have switched and they're swapped. So if I'm dividing, if the m was against the point, the first point, right? So which I'm calling x1, then you put the m against the other one. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you'll see exactly what I mean when I'm doing the example. And in the same way, it'll become NY1 plus MY2 all on M plus N. Okay, so coming back to this question. So what we have is minus 1 and 8 and X and Y, right? So in this case, what we're going to have is the, the point is going to become uh, remember our ratio is 2, 3 ok so the 2 will go against the x so it will become 2x minus 3 ok so it, it's actually going to be 2x minus 3 and not uh, not 3x minus 2 ok so just keep that it's 2x minus 3 on 5 right? so n plus n is fairly straightforward in the same way, it's going to become 2y minus 24 on 5. Okay, so that is the internal point. And they're told that this is the same as p1 on 4. Okay, so now we have two equations. Really simple equations. 2x minus 3 
on 5 is equal to uh, is equal to 1 and uh, 2y plus 24 on 5 is equal to 4 oh sorry scratch the 25 it says on 5 okay so so now solving this side I will have 2x minus 3 is equal to 5 2x is equal to 8 x is equal to 4 and on this side I will have 2y plus 24 is equal to 20 2y is equal to minus 4 y is equal to minus 2 okay so last question part f so the the question goes we have two lines y equals 3x plus 5 and y is equal to mx plus 4 when they intersect uh, the acute angle is 45 degrees right they're asking you to find the the two possible values of m all right here's how it goes the the acute angle the tan of the acute angle so in this case tan 45 is equal to the absolute value of m1 minus m2 all on 1 plus m1 m2 okay uh, now if you can't remember this formula maybe you'll remember this formula instead uh, tan tan of a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b all on 1 plus tan a tan b okay so this is this is one of the formulas that you must remember because it's uh, it's it's an extension of the whole cos a plus cos a plus b sine a plus b and the third one is tan a plus b and then of course we have the tan a minus b scenario okay um, okay so this equation actually comes out as a as a result of this this all I'm doing is t my tan a I'm replacing by m1 tan b is m2 okay anyway that, that's a bit of a sidetrack let's let's come back to this question so what I have what I have is tan 45 now the value of tan 45 is equal to 1 right 1 is equal to m1 I'm going to call it 3 minus m on 1 plus 3m all right now what does what does this mean it, it means that 1 plus 1 plus 3m is equal to plus or minus 3 minus m okay now I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to skip the skip the um, details and end up saying remember there's there's this the brackets around this m is going to end up being equal to either a half or minus 2 okay so uh, I'll stop there and then the next video I'll, I'll go on uh, I'll t tell you about how to do question 2 but, uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave let me know and leave them below uh, and I'll, I'll get back to you thank you